Hello everyone, Andrew here and in today's video we are going to clear your Google activity properly including search, YouTube and Maps. Uh, we will clean up old Google data, turn on auto delete so it doesn't pile up again, keep recommendations usable without keeping a years long profile and I'll explain what each setting does first then show you the exact clicks. Let's get into it. All right, so part one, web and app activity, search plus general Google usage. Uh, Google's log of your searches, clicks, voice interactions, and use of Google services. It's the biggest memory bucket. So what we'll do is turn on auto delete so data expires and optionally clear existing activity. All right, so we're going to go up to the address bar and type myactivity.google Com. And from here we will see my Google activity. We want then to go to web and app activity and we have the option to turn off, uh, pause completely, so if you want to, to pause it completely you can turn it off, or we can keep useful features but trim history, so we would click auto delete. So we'll scroll down here and you'll see auto delete, uh, choose an auto delete option and auto delete activity older than, I am going to select three months. And then you want to click next, confirm, and got it. Uh, this reduces how much Google keeps about you long term while keeping recent activity that can improve results. Uh, optional clean up here, you could click on manage all web activity, and then select delete, and choose last hour, last day, or all time. All right, up next we've got YouTube history, watch and search. Um, this is how YouTube learns your preferences and suggests videos. It includes what you watched and searched for. So what we're gonna do is turn on auto delete or pause entirely and clear the backlog if you want a fresh start. Okay, so the steps are very similar to before. Uh, we are at the My Google Activity page. You want to select YouTube History. And from here, we want to scroll down to Auto Delete. Also, you could turn them off, obviously. But we will go down to Auto Delete. And we will select Auto Delete Activity Older Than. And I'm going to select Three Months. From here, we want to click Next. Confirm. And got it. And then if we want to clean up again, we can go to Manage History. You could select Delete. Uh, and then once you've selected Delete here, it'll show you uh, last hour, last day, or everything. Uh, same as the previous step. Uh, why, why, you're probably thinking why you'd want to do this, but it uh, keeps recommendations relevant without keeping a permanent record of your past viewing. Uh, your subscriptions and playlists are separate. This only impacts watch and search history. All right, and now we're on to location history. Uh, Google Maps timeline. Uh, this is a detailed timeline of places you've visited. Useful for trip memories. Uh, many people find it too invasive though. So what we're going to do is pause the feature. Uh, auto delete if you keep it on. And optionally delete all past location data. Okay, so from the My Google Activity page, we want to go to Timeline. And from here, once again, you can turn it off. Uh, this uh, timeline helps you go back in time and remember where you've been by automatically saving your visits and routes to a map on each of your devices. So, like I say, you could turn it off or we can scroll down and have Auto Delete. So I'm going to choose the Auto Delete option again. And from here, I'm going to select auto delete activity older than, and I'm going to change it to three months. And from here, I'm going to click next and confirm and got it. And got it. There we go. Okay, and I'll see you on the next step. You might be asking why this helps. Well, it prevents a long term location log while keeping maps usable. And also, deleting location history does not delete your saved places, uh, favorites. Uh, those are separate. Okay, so moving on again now to ad personalization. Uh, this Google uses your activity to tailor ads. Uh, turning this off doesn't remove ads, but it reduces profiling. 
So what we'll do here is turn off add personalization or we're going to customize it. Okay, so from the My Google Activity page, I want you to scroll over to the left and select Google account. Then from here, I want you to go data and privacy. And from here, scroll down until you see my ad center, personalize ads on Google. And from here, you can select turn off. Uh, they're on, so obviously we want to turn them off. And then got it. And that's it. Uh, if we go back a few pages, uh, you can see if we scroll back down again to where it says my ad center, you know, your personalized ads on Google is switched off. But if you select this, uh, uh, if you wanted to, you could turn it back on. And from here, then you could customize the ads and select different topics. But uh, I, uh, for this video and anybody really with any sense would, would, would turn them off completely. So turn them off. And that's that. All right, and I just wanted them to cover this as well. Uh, Chrome Sync, only if you're using Chrome and you're signed into uh, your Google account. Uh, when Chrome Sync is on, your history and other data can be saved to your Google account. So I would like to keep useful sync, passwords, bookmarks, but turn off history sync to reduce cloud logging. So we're going to go up to the three dots in the top right. This is Chrome, remember. Scroll down to settings. And you and Google, we want to select over at the left hand side and scroll down to sync and Google services. Manage what you sync. And then we want to select customize sync. And we want to disable um, history. And that's that step complete. And there you have it. Uh, that's it. Your Google account is lighter and auto delete will keep it tidy. If this helped, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider leaving a comment and don't forget to subscribe. It's a new channel and it really helps. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.